American history is known for many transportation projects, such as the famous New York City subway and the much less successful Cincinnati subway. A city's transportation system says a lot about its people, so I decided to join a Cincinnati subway tour. There, through the eyes and minds of Cincinnatians. I got to explore the century-old subway station that had been frozen in time, and trace the ups and downs of its history. The tour began with a quick lesson on Cincinnatians' unique attitude toward and preference for their transportation options. Even though it was only 8 a.m., the streets where we stood were already boiling hot. The guide first told everyone to look around during the city's morning rush hour. In addition to a few buses jammed with commuters, the roads were packed with cars. The guide told us that while some commuters use streetcars and bike share system to commute, most of them choose to drive to work. The guide explained that Cincinnatians prefer driving in their cars. And believe it's important to have this choice. The reason for the choice lies in the history of the subway. Our guide then led us down into the subway tunnels, where the historical traces of a train station stood frozen in time. As I stood in this old, unused station, I could feel the cold air on my skin. And hear water dripping from the walls like the tick of a worn-out clock. The station was beautifully built, but the passage of time had turned it into ruin. This old station, which is covered with dust and graffiti, is now sitting in darkness and waiting to greet trains that would never arrive. As we walked along the tunnel, the guide took us on a journey back in time. To talk about the tale of the rise and fall of the Cincinnati subway, I learned that the idea for the Cincinnati subway was first proposed in the late 19th century, when the city was looking for ways to solve its traffic problem. Soon, the city followed in New York's footsteps and began building a subway line that was planned to be 16 miles long. However, in 1928. Inflation caused the city to pull the plug on its construction. Several proposals were put forward to revive the subway, but they were not accepted by Cincinnatians, who chose to spend money on road infrastructure instead. Over time, cars became the preferred mode of travel, and the subway was widely considered Cincinnati's white elephant. When the tour came to an end, I walked back up to the busy street, back to the noises of car horns and streetcar bells. Yet I could only think about the empty, unfinished subway beneath my feet. Since New Yorkers were able to change an unused train track into a city park, could Cincinnatians do something similar? People cannot change the past, but they can certainly shape the future.